Hi guys, Mr. Ruffle Waffles here. You all seem to find my original Der Eisendach bow guides extremely useful, so I thought it might be handy to do a follow-up with some tips and shortcuts to make the upgrade process a little easier. I had a lot of requests for this in the comments of my guides, so here it is. And yes, before I start, I know the map's been out for a while, I know there are other guides for this on YouTube, I am aware of that, but this video is specifically for the people that want a bit of extra clarity on the bows and want a video from me on this very topic. If you already know these tips and tricks, good for you. Great job, you're clearly a well-versed zombies player. So without further ado, let's jump straight in. And by the way, I'm assuming here that you've already seen my original bow guides. I'm not going to be telling you how to do the bows themselves in this video. That's already been covered in my bow guides. They're linked in the description if you need a refresher. We're going to start off with the firebow fireplaces. The one I showed in my original video is on screen now, and it's probably the most straightforward, at least at face value, of the three. It shouldn't be too difficult to get your free max ammo by doing this one in three shots. Your first shot should just go straight down the middle here, pretty much. The second, from this first volcano location, should then go up towards the balcony itself, and you're going to try and get this one in the doorway. So don't hesitate to shoot the wall if you need to, because what will happen if you shoot the wall is the volcano mound will drop down and appear on the floor below where you hit on the wall. So you can do that by all means, and then when you're in the doorway, just edge as far away from the volcano mound on the floor as you can while still keeping that glow around the edges of your screen and that way you should be able to give yourself a good enough angle to get that free max ammo and finish the fireplace. That's the first one. The next one we're going to look at is in the church. For this one, my personal technique that I find works the best is to shoot at the bottom of this red flag here, and you're going to want to do a charged shot for this, or at least that's what I find to be easiest. What that will allow you to do is get right between the doors of the church itself, because again, you'll hit the wall here, but what will happen is it will drop the mound below where your shot hit on the wall itself. So you'll be in the doors of the church, and then it's self-explanatory. Just shoot to the side, either side of the control panel thing here, and then shoot into the fireplace, and voila! Max ammo, fireplace complete. I should also mention that some of this gameplay has been provided by my buddy Brandon. His link is in the description down below. Thank you, sir. I was away from home when I was recording this, and as such, I couldn't cap all of it myself, so thanks for that. This clip is from him as well, and you're going to want to shoot between these two sort of castle pillar things on the castle parapets here, and the mound should spawn then if you hit the wall correctly, just up here by the Wonder Sphere, and that'll allow you to shoot another shot, and if you do that correctly, your next mound should spawn on the balcony, and from there, again, it's fairly self-explanatory. It tends to be like that with these. You've got to get either the first or the second shot just sort of dead on in the right kind of place, and then from there, it's relatively straightforward. It's worth remembering that everyone has their own way of doing these. You might have seen another YouTuber say another way is better. That may well be correct. Use whatever way works for you guys. These are just some general guidelines to help you out if you are struggling. That is the key here. Next, I'm going to show you a really quick way of getting all of the bonfires that you need for the lightning bow. Now, this, again, is not difficult by any means if you spend some time and practice it a little bit and then eventually get good at it, but for some people, they really struggle with lining these up, so I'm going to give you a way of getting them every single time without having to sort of judge the distances or anything along those lines. The terminology I'm going to be using here to describe how I'm aiming is as follows. I've got the horizontal bar of my crosshair. That's the cursor in the middle of my screen, which shows me where I'm aiming, just in case you're not aware. So there's the horizontal bar, and then the things below that bar, the little dots, I'm going to be calling notches. Generally, we're going to be using two notches for pretty much everything. So as you can see here, with this particular bonfire, which is probably the easiest of all of them, to be quite honest, you really don't need a guide to do this, in my opinion at least, you just line your bar up with the top of the bonfire, and then go two notches up, so that the second notch is in line with the top of the bonfire, and then shoot. Pretty straightforward. Now that you've got the hang of one of the more easy ones, we can do one slightly more complex, but still very straightforward. Go over here. This brick is going to be your indicator, so line your bar up with that. Then go two notches up. Go along so that you are above the bonfire itself, because obviously if you're not in line with the bonfire, you're not going to hit it. And then shoot, and again, it's a charged shot here, 
and you'll get the bonfire every time. In the gameplay, I'm actually going to do it for a second time here just to show you that it works really reliably. It's very, very easy to do. The last bonfire is a little bit more fiddly to set up, but it actually saves you going to the rocket area in order to light it. So it's definitely a shortcut for sure. The way I usually do this is as follows. I walk straight to the middle of the window, so I don't sit at either side. I'm smack bang in the middle, and I line my crosshair up, that central dot, that central notch, with the point where the two mountains cross over each other. So you can see that there's a sort of V formed between the two mountains. I'm going to get my central notch in the spot where the mountains cross over. Then I'm going to go two notches up, just like before, and then we're going to go to the right until the bar on the left, so I've got the full horizontal bar, the one on the left, I want to cross over the left mountain edge. So hopefully the graphics on screen are making this nice and clear. You're not going to shoot a charge shot with this one. You're just going to shoot a regular shot, just tap your trigger, fire the shot, and it should arc down and hit the bonfire. On screen now is a little quick guide to those three locations, just so that you can in future come back to this point in the video and you'll instantly be refreshed on exactly what you need to do. And if you get stuck, you can just rewind a little bit and rewatch the specific explanations of the areas, basically just to help you remember in the future. So if you forget a specific thing, like whether it's meant to be charged or not, you can just click back to this and you should find it nice and easily. Next, we're going to look at the fire bow. The first thing you need to do in this bow's upgrade process is obviously get the arrows, but then shoot the rock that is in the rocket launch area. Now, I'm going to show you on screen now me doing it normally. This is the normal method that you use. You're in the launch area, you wait for the rocket to launch, the rocket does its burn, the doors begin to open, you quickly rush out as soon as you can and try your best to shoot the little stone that is glowing on top of this pillar in the launch area. That is one way you can do it and that's fine, it will work. But some people prefer to have an easier method or a different method and so that's what I'm going to show you now. You don't need to be in the launch area to shoot that stone. You can actually do it from spawn, and fairly easily too. So again, just like the lightning bow positions that I've just shown you, I'm going to show you now a place where you can shoot the fire stone, and as long as you follow my instructions in this video, you should hit this pretty much every time. So it's a bit of a fail safe if you're stuck doing it in the launch area. Obviously, you want to do this while the rocket is test firing so that you're ready as soon as it stops firing and the stone lights up for you to shoot. First up, come to this part of the spawn, of course, and you'll see this curved railing here. You're going to want to nestle yourself in the curved bit on the left. So that is where you want to slide your character in. I don't think the positioning makes that much of a difference, but that's where I always stand. Next, get your crosshair in line with the stone itself. It should be faintly glowing at this point, but it won't be fully lit. It's a little tricky to describe exactly where the crosshair is meant to be here, so I'm going to do it via graphics on screen as well as trying to explain it. You want your second notch to be crossing this little bit of rock here, and your third notch should be just below the point where it goes from dark rock to light rock, or from rock to to snow. So you can see there's that rock there, there's rock below and snow on top. You want your third notch to be just below that, just ever so slightly, and you want your second notch to be just about crossing that bit of snow, that line of snow that you can see there. Obviously, it needs to still be in line with the glowing rock at the bottom. If you need to reline up, then feel free to go ahead and do so. I'll play this a few times for you so you can see exactly where I put my crosshair. But if you do this right, and if you line it up where I'm lining it up in this gameplay, you should hit the rock pretty much every time. I guess one thing to note here is that obviously you can't do this before the rocket stops firing, so keep an eye on those lights from the rocket on the right side of your screen, and only shoot once they have gone off, otherwise it's not going to work. In other words, the stone has to be glowing in order for you to shoot it. Right. Let's move on. Next is something that got patched into the map. It wasn't in the map originally, but I reached out to Treyarch and a number of other people did, and they decided that it would be a good idea to add it in. It's subtitles. It's a really straightforward easy way to make sure that you hear the urn correctly when you're doing the void bow. So just turn on subtitles and when you shoot the urn in the middle of the room to hear its name, you can see what the urn says and you don't have to worry about the sound. So it's not exactly game changing this unless you're hard of hearing, in which case it's massively game changing. So it just depends on your circumstances, really. Finally, we're going to wrap this up with spots you can use to hit the rings for the fire bow every time. 
This makes it so much easier to do this. You don't have to worry about lag. You don't have to worry about timing. You can actually do them all in one jump if you do it correctly, but I'm going to show you them individually first just for the sake of clarity. This is the Wonder Sphere in question which we are going to use. It's this one and this one only. The other ones are nowhere near as convenient. This one is easily the best in my opinion. You're going to want to come straight into it and if you walk forwards towards this thing that I'm looking at now, you should find a spot where your character sort of slides in and then stops moving. Just walk forwards and you should find it pretty easily. The first aim spot we're going to use is this broken bit of Wonder Sphere. We're going to use this little tip of metal as the guide for our shot. We're going to aim directly up into the air, so aim as far up as you can go while staying exactly in line with that tip of metal, and then fire a regular shot. Wait a few seconds, because otherwise the arrow will land after you've already landed, and that will nullify your attempt, so fire the shot, and then you can jump. Your arrow will land while you are in the air, and you'll have done one of the rings. Easy peasy. But we can go further. We can do another one in this exact same manner just by aiming in a slightly different area. The setup is essentially the same. It's the same Wonder Sphere. You've got to stand in the same place. So again, walk forwards until you stop moving when you're walking towards that bit of metal that I showed you before. And then look up and you'll see these two things jutting out. One of them is a bit of wood. One of them is a bit of metal. The way I remember this one is that you want to essentially line your crosshair up with this spiky bit of wood here. It's the first part of the wooden beam that is spiky and splintered. You're going to line your crosshair up with that, and you're essentially going to basically be in the middle of the gap between the bar and the beam. It's not actually massively important if you're slightly to the left or the right with this one, because it's not traveling a massive distance. It's a regular shot again, not a charged shot. And again, you shoot, and then about half a second later, or a second later, you go and you'll see it land, actually, if you look at it while you're in the air. My opinion on the last one is that it's actually easiest to do if you just shoot it on your way down. So if you're already looking downwards when you activate the Wonder Sphere and you've got your shot ready, just before you land, if you just shoot towards the ring, you should be able to get it. It's really the easiest of all of them by far, in my opinion, and just it's easier, I think, to do it while you're actually airborne rather than trying to do it beforehand. But that's just my opinion. If you have your own way of doing it, then that's great. And if you do, then why not leave a comment and let other people know about it? That would be fantastic. The final thing that I did mention is that it is possible to do all of these in just one jump. So you can save yourself some cash, save yourself some time. All you've got to do is line up the first one I showed you, fire that shot, then straight away line up the second one I showed you, shoot that shot, and then straight after that, get yourself in the air, and then as you land, shoot the third one. So you're essentially squishing together all three of the shots that I have showed you into one run of the Wonder Sphere, and what will happen is you'll shoot that first shot, its arrow will be airborne, you'll shoot the second shot, its arrow will be airborne, you'll jump into the air, those two arrows will land while you're still in the air, so they'll count as having been completed by you, and then that third shot you'll shoot yourself on the way down. So it's a really good way of doing it super fast, it's a brilliant shortcut, I highly recommend it if you can execute it, and if not then chances are you're still quite likely to get two out of three, so it's probably worth trying regardless. So hopefully that has all been useful for you, these are just some tips, tricks, and a little bit of assistance for you to be able to get the bows a little more easily on Der Eisendrache. I know my subscribers are going to hate me for posting this because it's late, but hopefully people that find it from search and things like that will find it nice and helpful. So one last thing I do need to say is that Brandon, who I mentioned earlier, was super duper helpful throughout the recording of this video, so thanks again to him. Like I said, link down below. Without him, I probably wouldn't have been able to post this, so thanks Brandon, thank you for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.